Hey everybody, and welcome back. I'm gonna finish, hopefully, chapter one. Tonight, today, whatever. So, um, without further ado, I really don't want to talk too much. I just want to get right in because it's very relevant to what we're experiencing right now in the collective. So, here we go. Medical madness. Something to ponder. We have virtually an entire global medical profession treating the body and its malfunctions while having no idea what the body or reality really is. Mm. I wonder why mainstream medicine is one of planet Earth's biggest killers. It's like asking me to mend your engine. It would never work again. The difference is that I wouldn't dream of messing with an engine I know nothing about, while doctors mess with human bodies every day that they misunderstand in their foundation form because medical science has misled them their entire careers. Trust me, I'm a doctor. The system says so. Doctors are misled their entire careers about the true nature of the body and how it works. Figure 63. Why they are misled is coming later on. I'm not saying that doctors don't do good work that benefits people, but talking in totality how can you not create mayhem overall if you are treating something that you don't understand? Mainstream medicine doesn't accept that the body is a waveform information construct and sees only the illusory physical form. Um, let me start that sentence over. Mainstream medicine doesn't accept that the body is a waveform information construct and sees only the illusory physical from its perceptual prison of the five senses. The holographic level of the body is a decoded projection of waveform information and always reflects that informational state. The balance or imbalance of the waveform field reflects as the balance or imbalance dis-ease of the hologram. What's more, the balance or imbalance of the perceiver also affects which possibilities and probabilities are decoded into holographic experience, including the health or otherwise of their bodies. Imbalanced emotion is the biggest cause of human disease, dis-ease. And emotional imbalance equals energetic imbalance, which equals decoding imbalance, which equals holographic imbalance. Waveform distortions become holographic distortions, and it cannot be any other way because one is a projection of the other. Even mainstream medicine acknowledges the reality of psychosomatic illness, and evidence for mental and emotional states manifesting as physical ailments is now enormous. This is how that happens. Imbalanced thought and emotion generates imbalanced electrical and waveform frequencies that distort the electrical slash waveform fields of the body, which then project into the hologram. So in a nutshell, the unseen dictates the scene. In the same way, balanced and positively focused thoughts and emotion can rebalance distortions in the electrical slash waveform fields. An example of that is epigenetics, BTW. I was told when I was 19 that my own arthritis would probably put me in a wheelchair in my 30s. 46 years later, at age 65, I am talking on my feet for 10 hours at a time and waking up fine the next morning. Why no wheelchair? Because I wasn't having it, that's why. As I told the wheelchair predictors at the time. Mind governs physical experience, and awareness beyond that even more so if we allow it in. Perception decodes reality from the quantum field of possibility and probability, and in doing so, dictates health. Doctors give a prognosis or life expectancy, and that perception, if accepted by the patient, becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy as perception is decoded into experienced reality. Message to doctors. Don't tell people what is going to happen to them or how long they have to live. Let them decide that, not you. Mainstream medicine sees only the hologram or what is perceived to be physical, and when your only tool is a hammer for every problem... Oh, and when your only tool is a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. Let me repeat that. Mainstream medicine sees only the hologram, or what is perceived to be physical. And when your only tool is a hammer, every problem looks like a nail.
More aware people note that so-called modern medicine only treats the symptom and not the cause. But how else could that be when you only accept the existence of the five-sense body and not of the waveform field from which it is holographically decoded? The cause is imbalance in the waveform field, most often caused by imbalanced emotion. And with the medical profession rejecting the existence of the waveform level, they cannot possibly treat the cause. Or cure you. They are left with only the symptom, and the wave waveform imbalance manifests in the hologram. You have a pain? We'll give you a painkiller. You have a cancer? We'll cut it out or destroy your immune system for life with chemotherapy, what one doctor called weed killer, and radiation which causes cancer. Studies have revealed that chemotherapy also causes cancer and allows it to grow more aggressively because of its effect on body systems. Mainstream modern medicine is a killing machine and cannot fail to be so for the reasons outlined here. Where does physical health come into anything when you consider this quote from earlier? If we lost all the dead space inside our atoms, we would each be able to fit into a particle of dust, and the entire human race would fit into the volume of a sugar cube. My own view, as I said before, is that we are not even a particle of dust because matter is 100% illusion. So where do physical ailments like arthritis come from? They are not physical because there is no physical. They are schisms in the energetic waveform slash electromagnetic field and must be healed at that level. Killing the competition. Alternative or complementary medicine overwhelmingly targets the waveform level of energetic information with the understanding, among the best practitioners I should stress, that if the waveform field is in balance, the physical body must be so. They seek to help the body heal itself. These are the same alternative healers that are now being mercilessly targeted with fierce regulation and intimidation. Intimidation by tyrannies, including national governments, the European Union, and a global scam called Codex Alimentarius, created by Nazis jailed for war crimes, which are all working in the interests of the big pharma, pharmaceutical cartel, to destroy the complementary competition. Codex Alimentarius, or Food Code slash Food Book, seeks to use the excuse of harmonizing global regulation to take genuine complementary treatments out of circulation and give control over useless synthetic copies to Big Pharma. My longtime friend Mike Lambert at the Shen Clinic on the Isle of Wight is a healing genius who knows what the body really is, but that makes him a target for the authorities when they should be giving him every encouragement and helping him share his knowledge. Complementary practitioners are being closed down and even jailed for making any claims about what they do even though the evidence to support what they say can be produced. Mainstream laboratory findings cannot be quoted by alternative medicine in support of their work, or prosecution could follow. We have the ludicrous and outrageous situation in places like the EU in which nutrition, food supplements, and other products can still be produced, though given them time, but not a word can be said about their potential beneficial effect while Big Pharma can make claims galore that turn out to be mendacious and sometimes deadly. This is where we are in this war against what I will call waveform field practitioners. Quote, this might be good for you. Why? I can't tell you. End quote. Meanwhile, Big Pharma can, by comparison, claim pretty much what it likes about its symptom-obsessed potions that mostly do no good <clears throat> at all or cause more and often worse problems than those they are claiming to treat. It is pathetic to hear breathless voiceovers racing through a long list of side effects at the end of drug advertisements on American television. Some have even taken to putting pictures over the voice to divert viewers' attention from what is being said. They care about your health, all right. Drug companies have to massively overstep the mark before they risk prosecution, and even then, most of the fines are derisory, derisory? against the staggering size of their annual profits. The reason for this extraordinary level of bias against waveform field practitioners in favor of hologram 
obsessives will become obvious, and it is not all, and it is not only about money, far from it. They want to destroy all, altern all alternatives to Big Pharma as part of a global agenda of human control and oppression. Governments, global bodies, and Big Pharma have long been targeting alternative methods and practitioners in a coordinated conspiracy, which I have exposed in other books. The idea is to delete all other healthcare and leave humanity at the mercy of these pharmaceutical psychopaths, who have been exposed for shocking practices that include reducing drug supplies to drive up the price by thousands of percent. Figure 64 Global Organized Crime Syndicate, Big Pharma Medicine. The global campaign against alternative ways of healing are made easier by the astonishing amounts of money spent in political campaign funding and lobbying by the Big Pharma cartel. Donald Trump's health policy replacement for Obamacare in the United States was drafted by people given hundreds of thousands of dollars by the pharmaceutical industry. Another point to make here is that Big Pharma poisons and potions are damaging. Okay. Another point to make here is that Big Pharma poisons and potions are damaging and imbalancing the body's waveform field even while its existence is publicly rejected. I say publicly because deep in the shadows they know how it all works and therefore the havoc they wreak. If you could see pharmaceutical drugs on the on their waveform level, you would see distorted and chaotic fields of frequency and vibration that interact with the waveform fields of the body and pass on that distortion and energetic chaos. We call this side effects. When the distortions play through to the hologram. Swallowing poison does not directly kill the body. The waveform level of the body becomes so distorted and inverted that it ceases to function as an energetic organism. What happens in the hologram when poison is swallowed is only a reflection of what is happening in the waveform field. Again, the unseen dictates the scene. This principle further applies to both the mass toxicity in the environment and chemical infested or vibrationally distorted shit in vaccines and what is bravely called food. We may see black toxic sludge pouring into a river, but on the waveform level, that sludge is a distorted and chaotic field of information, which impacts on the waveform field of the river, and the same distortion is passed on to the fish and other river of life. Radiation is so dangerous and deadly because it distorts the waveform field of the body, and today's human society is deluged with it. The global health crisis can only ever be made worse by a mainstream medicine that has no idea what it is actually treating. A system so utterly insane can only spew out ever greater numbers of ill, energetically imbalanced people. The only answer, and those behind all this don't want an answer, is for waveform field practitioners and researchers to be set free from their witch hunt and allowed to address illness in ways that will A. genuinely heal people and B. stop them getting ill in the first place. Waveform Water Professor Dame Sally Davies, UK Government Chief Medical Officer, said, Homeopaths are peddlers and homeopathy is rubbish. Homeopathy is a perfect example of mainstream medicine's arrogance of ignorance. The programmed thought processes of people like Davies follow this ever-recurring pattern. If we can't explain it, then it can't be happening. This mentality pervades mainstream everything, aka the Matrix, and those with perceptions downloaded from mainstream everything. Much of this alternative media is infected with the same myopia. How can people like Sally Davies understand the basis on which homeopathy works when they don't understand or accept how reality works? This is the chicken and egg bind that holds such people in their lifelong addiction to ignorance. The foundation of their disbelief in homeopathy is that its potions are so diluted that there are no ingredients remaining in the water. Note, ingredients equals what I can see. If they can't see something, it cannot exist. A mainstream UK newspaper reported that 2,500 vets and animal lovers had called for a ban on the use of homeopathy on animals. They said it was dangerous compared with proven medicines, you know, the ones produced by the big pharma cartel that contribute to the incredible annual death toll of mainstream medicine. 
The key line in the article said, quote, Scientists argue that the cures are so diluted they are unlikely to contain any of the original substance, end quote. I'll explain why that doesn't matter. Researchers at the Aerospace Institute in Stuttgart, Germany, have developed a way to photograph information in droplets of water. They dipped a flower into a tank of water and took it out again before photographing the droplets. They found that the energetic, energetic information from the flower was in all of the droplets. The holographic principle again. The information of the flower was retained in the water even when the flower or substance had been removed, and the same happens with homeopathy. Energetic information of the substance stays in the water after the substance itself has been diluted away, and it is this which interacts with the body at the level of the waveform field, or at its true nature, its true core. It's a fundamental level, the waveform field. The unseen dictates the scene. The non-physical dictates the physical. Anywho, I am not saying that homeopathy is effective every time or even at all in the wrong hands, but this is the principle on which it can, it can work and often does. Dr. Vladimir Poponin, a Russian researcher, beamed a laser through DNA, and when the physical DNA was removed, it remained in the laser in energetic form under the same principle as the flower and the water. This is known as the phantom DNA effect, but it is not a phantom. It is DNA in wave form. Stuttgart researchers also invited people from the local community for an experiment in which they were at each asked to take four droplets from a tank of water and put them in a dish with their name on it. When these drops were photographed, each set of four were different from the other sets, but each of the four from each person were virtually identical in their energetic signature. Figure 65. It just shows an illustration of that. Information in the four droplets from each person was virtually the same. The simple and brief act of taking a droplet from the tank and putting it in a dish had transferred the person's unique energetic signature to the water. This is how we are interacting with our energetic environment and each other every second after illusory second at the waveform level of the cosmic internet as we download and post information. Let me repeat that little section. The simple and brief act of taking a droplet from the tank and putting it in a dish had transferred the person's unique energetic signature to the water. This is how we are interacting with our energetic environment and each other, second after illusory second at the waveform level of the cosmic internet as we download and post information. The principle was compellingly confirmed by the work of a friend of mine, the late Japanese researcher, Dr. Masaru Emoto. He perfected a way of photographing the impact of frequency and vibration on water crystals. Water is also waveform filled in its base state, as everything is in our reality. And so water is impacted by waveform influences. Dr. Emoto would write words of love or hate on the side of canisters of water and then freeze them very quickly before photographing the crystals. He would also sometimes use polluted water, subject water, to various kinds of music, aka vibration slash frequency, and attach a mobile phone to the canister. The difference this made to the crystals was stunning, as you can see from the illustrated examples in figure 66. <coughs> Excuse me. I know what y'all are thinking, but no. I'm, I'm good. Different frequency slash vibration from intent, emotion, thought, and pollution expressed in the water crystals. I don't know if you can see them over there. This pretty one, the very symmetrical and geometrical one. Um, had love and appreciation on the glass. This one, that is irregular and sporadic and chaotic looking, says, You make me sick. I want to kill you. Thank you is also beautiful, symmetrical, and unique in its own way, too, being a pretty crystal. And then polluted river water just looks... 
chaotic as well. And then there's little Dr. Emoto. Words of love and thanks written on the canisters produced perfectly balanced and beautiful crystals, while words of hate created a distorted mess. How come? Everything in its base state, even written words, is waveform energy, or information. The spoken word is obviously a vibrational phenomenon produced by the vocal cords, which the brain decodes into language. The written word operates on the same principle. We may see words as ink on paper in the hologram, but their foundation state is waveform information, and the intent behind them dictates their frequency state, whether high or low, balanced or distorted. Saying I hate you with a joke and a smile does not generate the same frequency as saying the same with intent and venom. Hold on one second. Words written on the side of the water canister transfer their vibrational state to the waveform level of the water, and this changes the nature of the water crystals. Polluted water seriously distorts the crystals for reasons I explained earlier, and the same with mobile phones. That's important to note mobile phones and EMF and other forms of radiation and microwaves. I'm pretty sure he gets more into that later. Polluted water can be transformed into balance by what is termed prayer which is concentrated and focused thought, figure 67. Before prayer, chaotic water crystals are really lack thereof. And then after prayer, symmetrical, beautiful. Attention and intent generate frequency fields that change the waveform structure of the water, and a positive focus and intent based on love, appreciation, and respect can rebalance everything. We are constantly being impacted by our energetic environment and impacting upon it, while the overwhelming majority have no idea this is so. Voice-to-ear communication, while it appears to dominate human interaction, is really only a holographic sideshow. Consciousness and its waveform vehicle is the stadium in which life plays out. By the way, prayer can, not necessarily will, but can, focus attention or perception on the quantum field of possibility and probability and manifest an experienced reality that appears to be your prayers being answered. They are not answered by some deity in the sky, but by your own reality decoding potential from the infinite well of infinite possibility. Paranormal Human society is an inversion wherever you look because its perceptions are driven by manufactured ignorance and, in terms of those in the shadows, by extremely evil intent. The inversion of normal and paranormal is a great example. Normal is only what we normally experience and nothing more. If we fall for the trap of believing in mainstream everything's program myopia, then normal will be a tiny band of possibility. But if you breach the walls of such downloaded deception, you realize that what is called paranormal is the real normal and the way things really are. Human normal is nothing more than a mind prison of programmed perceptions. Programmed perceptions. Normal laughs at those who say they have seen aliens or spaceships as if the only intelligent life in the infinity of forever are human beings living on a planet which when compared with the projected size of the universe is the equivalent of a billionth of a pinhead. Figure 68, a little perspective. Normal laughs at those who claim to have seen ghosts, even though this is a constantly common theme throughout human existence all over the world. I said earlier that ghosts or apparitions are expressions of awareness in other frequency bands close to ours. Figure 69. 
Ghosts are entities and other energetic states operating on frequencies close enough to ours to be seen, if only ethereally. ethereally. They mostly p appear ethereal because they are not on our frequency, and they are the visual version of interference by one radio station on another. The main station, aka our reality, is the dominant one, and the interference station, aka the ghost, is more distant and fuzzy because it is not on the frequency of the main station. Normal dismisses the arts of divination, such as tarot cards and rune stones, because normal does not understand how they can work, and so, by definition, they can't. Eh, Dame Sally? <laughs> We are a waveform field, and tarot cards are a waveform field. Images and symbolism of each tarot card or rune stone dictates its frequency slash vibrational state, and this is a visual version of intent that comes from what cards or stones represent. Interaction during a tarot card reading or when the runes are thrown is happening at the electromagnetic waveform level of reality. Figure 70. Tarot cards are electromagnetic information states, connecting with similar states in the human energy field. We pick one card and not another because of the electromagnetic synchronization and attraction between the card's field and our own. What the card symbolically represents and is expressed electromagnetically makes a connection with a similar frequency within our own electromagnetic field, which in turn represents something in our mental and emotional state. A spread of cards on the table is a visual representation of the probabilities and possibilities poised to be manifested by our energetic field and awareness through our mental and emotional state of perception. Gifted people in this arena can read what they believe might happen from the quantum possibilities and probabilities set before them in the form of cards or runestones. I emphasize the term gifted. In all these so-called paranormal arts, there are outstanding people and fakes who try to persuade others to believe them. Personal recommendations from previous clients are a good way to avoid frauds. Normal laughs at psychics and mediums who say they can connect with awareness in other realities. They can be a stage show psychic at the level. At the level of, is there a Mary? I'm getting a Mary. Or they can be those relatively few who can connect with realities and expanded awareness way beyond our frequency band. The question is not whether this is possible. It is. But rather, can this or that person actually do it? Those that can are expanding their frequency range to attune with other realities and awareness which can then communicate through them into our realm. Figure 71. Psychics and mediums, genuine ones, are expanding their perception range to connect with other frequencies or dimensions of reality. A psychic sat slash medium acts as a conduit between two frequency bands to allow one to communicate with the other. This is what Betty Shine was doing and where the voice or thought forms that I heard in the newspaper shop and on the hill in Peru came from. Awareness they attune with can be anything from infinite awareness in awareness of itself to some very dark, dense, and manipulative entities and frequency bands close to this one. These are the entities that Satanists interact with in their sick and manipulative rituals. The paranormal slash normal inversion is a potent example of the collective inversion which is human society. Paranormal represents the true nature of reality while normal is a manufactured figment of programmed imagination, or rather lack of it. Those with an understanding of the pareal normal have always been, at best, ridiculed and at worst, burned at the stake, while advocates of the idiocy normal are feted as great minds and given titles and status true that. The consequences of this have been catastrophic. I know I said I was going to finish, but I think I'm going to stop there because this video is already going at half an hour. So thank you for listening, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. It helps me help you help us and the rest of the planet. And if you enjoy this content, be sure to share it with your friends and your fam who might enjoy it too. Also, tap the notification bell because I upload sporadically and randomly. And as always, um, 
I love you all, and hope you have a wonderful and magical rest of your now moment. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.